everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're opening up a mega box from Walmart. This is a Gypsy Queen mega box, 2020. We bought this off of the Walmart website. Don't have a Walmart too close to us. Plus, we're trying to stay out of the stores right now. So anything we can do to buy stuff online makes it a little easier. Um, going in to get cards at, in retail stores right now, probably not the best idea, in my opinion. But leave it up to you guys uh, but I think with everything going around if you could buy it online I'd go that route um, so you'll find two packs of exclusive silver parallels in here here are your odds um, I haven't actually watched any how many packs do you get in here 10 packs um, plus the two bonus packs so 72 cards total I've, I've seen good things posted about uh, these boxes you know people have been pulling out autographs and stuff so like anything there's always a chance I'm interested to see what these silver ones look like. Might just go ahead and do those first once I figure out how many. What is there, two packs of silver? Yeah, two silvers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Five and five. Perfect. <clears throat> I should read the box. It says two silver packs. Yeah. Um, Six silver parallel cards inside. Let's see. So these will run you 40 bucks roughly. Those are kind of cool looking. Yeah, not bad. Just like the green, but silver bordered, obviously. Betts. Guerrero. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Boyd. Danny Jansen. And Yamamoto. Not bad. Not horrible. I mean, nothing too crazy, but still kind of cool. Yeah, Betts and a Vlad and then a, a rookie, so. Burke. Chu. Dimitri. Bryce Harper. Uh, Tarot of the Diamond. Bradley and Urshela. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are all doing well. This is, what, the 7th of yeah, April, I think? 6th of April, something like yeah, that. Yeah, 6th nice of Alvarez April. Rookie. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, I believe we'll be posting this video today as well. So um, tomorrow night, Tuesday, we're having a charity auction um, on our YouTube channel at 9 o'clock. So make sure to come and check that out. You can go back. We made a video about that a couple of days ago. Um, so you can go back and check that one yeah, out. Yeah, it's a preview. You can see what we are going to sell. This is some of the stuff we're going to sell Here's there. McKay Fortune Teller. All the proceeds will go to Samaritan's Purse, a charitable organization that does relief efforts around the world. They set up a tent hospital, field hospital in Central Park. And so they do a lot of good work. Um, Castro, I think that's just the base. Smith and Weaver. I didn't see anything there. I didn't either. Um, yeah, I don't think so. That does look weird. Unless that's like a player's weekend, maybe. Let's see the card ones. I don't know. That Nats jersey just looks funny, but I don't know. Yeah, it does. I don't think it is. I think they'd make it more obvious. Um, Miner, Tatis. There's a nice Gavin Lux rookie. Cool. Yeah, pretty good rookies so far. Danny Duffy, Kyle Schwarber, and Aaron Judge. Once again, I don't think anything special in that one that I see. So, Yeah, I don't know. Gypsy Queen is kind of a tricky product <clears throat> to figure stuff out sometimes. So. We, this is definitely not our expertise. We know a lot about Heritage, Series 1, Topps Chrome, um, a few of the other products. But Gypsy Queen we know a fair amount about, but not all the fine details of it. In which there are a few. Oops, skipped right over a card. There's a Heria. And there's a no nameplate, so obviously you can see right there. This is going to be of Nick Williams. Cool. So, one special card. I don't know if you guys have opened these. Did you pull uh, many parallels out of them, or is that really tough? Let's look at the box real quick and see. Missing nameplate is one every 30 packs. Um, Ooh, we may have an auto here. Cool. Acuna Jr. And Starling. Let's see if this is an auto. I'm guessing it is because I don't know what else. It's a white sock. Is that Eloy Jimenez? It's, no, it's not. Like it's Tim Anderson. Anderson. Why was it backwards? 134. Oh, oh, Jackie Robinson. There it is, Day, Jackie yeah. Robinson Day. So, all right, 
That so, took a second. Some of the, these are kind of tricky because um, you can't see. You can see the patch, obviously, but not the. Yeah, that was really tricky. Not cause, the number because the number would say 42. That'd be kind of obvious, but you have to look at the patch there instead. Yeah. Um, so, so why was it flipped around? Sometimes they're flipped around for no reason. That's why we were wondering because occasionally you'll get packs where there's just a random card flipped around for absolutely zero reason. You have no idea why. That's the first Jackie Robinson day we've pulled uh, out of Gypsy Queen this year. Those are so, tough, I think. Yeah, they're usually fairly tough. Um, day short print parallels missing. Oh, this is short print. Base cards. Missing nameplate. Logo swap. Bazooka back. Indigo red. Bellinger. And there's a Walker Bueller. Tarot the Diamonds. Or diamond. Seeger and AJ Minter. They're one every 202 packs. So, so pretty yeah, tough. pretty tough pull. Not the best name there, but. He won the batting title last year. Rogers. Well, he's Bauer, good, but just not in terms of value. Right. You know? Exactly. Bader and Bieber. So let's see if we can get a good rookie out of the silver pack. So you get how many cards in six, here? So six. Maybe okay. like a Trey Man or not Trey Manson. Um, what's his face? Gavin Lux or Aquino. There's a Yelich. Not bad. A Means. Denar and Gerchuk. So. I don't know. Yeah, they're not like they're not bad. They're not a bad value. You I mean it's like two blasters basically. I still and think with um, Gypsy Queen, you're definitely best off with the hobby over any type of retail. In my opinion, if you can afford it and yeah. save up, um, that's just my opinion. Your return on investment it for Gypsy Queen is pretty tough. So I wanted to go into it expecting you can sell a lot of these cards. Um, more of a we did get a Lux and a Yordan, which is cool. Yeah. Um, but a bunch of just, you know, I mean, it's not, not bad. bad, but it's not like the best, world's greatest or shattering value ever. So Yeah, no, not not a bad uh, product. And, you know, one box gets you that many cards, you know, with the two silver pack parallels, which I don't know how well those are selling. Uh, but the rookies, I'm sure top rookies would have, you know, more of a chase to them, more value. So, yeah. Anyways, let us know what you think. Did you open up a mega box like this what did you pull out of it let us know and we'll see you on the next break don't forget we have our auction tomorrow um and if you haven't yet followed us on instagram here's our instagram right here so take a look there follow us and please like comment subscribe tomorrow night uh nine o'clock tuesday uh april 7th is when we'll be doing our auction and people have asked where can they buy the cards right here on our youtube channel so if you haven't hit that little bell icon, hit that little bell icon, and then you'll be notified when we're posting breaks or going live. You'll find us that way. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and have fun collecting.